Hi friends, good morning. Today we are going to discuss about what is resource group and how to create it. Okay. So prerequisite for this particular video is uh, my previous video that is what is Azure and Cloud. So please watch that. Okay, I will provide the link for that video in below description. Okay. So now when you start working with Azure, right? The primary thing what you will be creating inside the Azure is resource group. Okay. So this is the first step. Okay. So resource group. What is resource group? Okay. Think uh, it like a folder. Okay. Think it like a folder. Okay. So you will be creating a resource group and you will be placing all your resources. That means all your uh, services whatever you want to use from the Azure you will be creating those services instances right we will call them as a resource in terms of Azure technology so we will place all the all of them inside a resource group so that's it okay it, it won't have any impact on the service okay so it is something like logically partitioning or dividing the resources okay because let's assume you want to create the services for dev environment so in that case you will be creating a resource group called dev and you will be placing placing inside that particular resource group so it's like a folder to logically group them for easy maintenance okay uh, so okay before that okay let's let's see something so once you are familiar with azure if you want to log into azure you should have a subscription okay a subscription is required so there are so many videos available on online uh, which will explain you how to get your free subscription okay so you can check that uh, okay i will be not creating video on that uh, it's very straightforward you can check that there or you can directly go and try creating free subscription okay so once you create a subscription means you got you got access to azure okay so normal in real time right in real time you will be not doing anything on the subscription part okay because when you work for any client they might have already got some subscription uh, from uh, from microsoft so directly when you onboard to project they will add your id into that subscription okay so automatically you will get the azure access okay uh, so after that uh, the second step will be the resource group creation so this this step you have to start you have to do it by your own your project manager or as you as a manager or a lead you will decide what resource group you want to create what the name of it dev uat prod so you will decide all of them so let's see them practically how it looks okay let's go to browser okay to open azure portal.azure.com just enter i have already opened it here okay once you go here click on this resource groups okay then click this plus button to create the resource group once you click that it will throw you a screen where you can create your resource group so it will show you that your subscription by default then you need to name your resource group so let's uh, uh, i am naming it text env this is my resource group name okay and you need to select the environment where you want it where this resource group want region okay where you want this resource group to be uh, maintained by microsoft whether in west us data center or whether in central us data center where you want to host this resource group so we are not doing anything on it this is just you need to select it so that microsoft should know where they can create this resource group in which data center okay so click this review and plus create then click this create button that's it you are good in in couple of seconds or minutes your resource group will be created okay so once the resource group created you can see here the message saying resource group created you can directly pin that resource group into your dashboard for quick, quickly accessing the group or you can click this go to resource group here directly it will take you to the resource group so right now in my resource group i don't have any resources created that means i don't have any services created that is the reason it is saying no resources to display okay